Hi, my name is Philip Brown. I'm the bearded math man. Hope this one works. This chalkboard stuff's tricky. Hmm. Anyway, I would like to show you how to take something like this, a repeating decimal, and turn it into a fraction. A lot of times you're asked how to do that, so let's get to it. But before we do this one, let's back it up a little bit. Let's do something a little simpler. Zero point seven repeating. Hmm. We need to know the fraction whose decimal equivalent is that, because that's a rational number. So what if we're asked to write it as a ratio? Well, here's what we need to know. We need to know a couple of little steps, and unfortunately, you might not know the algebra behind this. Um, but I'll walk it through. I'll walk you through it, and we'll keep it simple. Now here we go. We don't know what number this is as a fraction, so we're going to say that's x. Okay, well, there we go. X will be our answer. X will be the fraction whose decimal equivalent will be this. Now, do you see it starts repeating at the tenths place? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna multiply both sides of this equation by 10. To make this a whole number, it's gonna be 7.7 .7 repeating. So it's gonna be 10X equals 7.7 .7 repeating. There we go, pretty fancy, huh? All right, now, here's the trick. This has to do with systems of equations we have. No. We'll just go ahead and solve it. What we're going to do is we're going to take this first equation right here and we're going to subtract it from the second equation right here. So we're going to subtract it like that. So we're going to subtract it just like that. Now, 10 minus 1, 10 minus 1, that's famously known as 9. 7.7 .7 repeating minus 0 0.7 repeating, just 7. 9 times what equals 7? Well, use inverse operations, divide both sides by 9. Done. So this is the fraction whose decimal approximation is 0 0.7 repeating. And one thing to note, this is an approximation. It keeps going forever and ever, but this is accurate, it's exact, it's perfect. Just like you, it's perfect. Now, what if you had one that wasn't quite so pretty as the last one, 0.45? Well, you see how this is repeating after the hundredths place. So we're going to actually set up our equation. We don't know what that is as a fraction, so that's x. And then, you see that's the hundredths place again? So we're going to multiply both sides by 100, just like that. Now, just like before, we take our first equation and subtract that from the second equation. And there we go. Now, just divide. Done. Now you might not understand the algebra behind that. It's kind of like systems of equations, but if you don't, it's okay. It works that way every time. The trick is, you just set up your first equation, and then you multiply both sides of that equation by something so that you end up with your repeating decimal starting right there. That's it. Now, really ugly one. Now what if we had a really ugly one like this? I went ahead and took the liberty of already setting it equal to x, and x will be our number whose decimal approximation is this ugly thing right here. The trick is, this one doesn't start repeating until the thousandths place, and there's stuff in front of it. Hmm. So what we gotta do is we gotta get rid of all of this. We gotta get rid of that 0, 05. See? We gotta get rid of that right there. We want that decimal. Instead of being here, we want it to be there. We want it to be 5.1. Three. And the way we could do that mathematically is we would have to multiply that right, by 100. So we're going to have to multiply the other side by 100 too. So it's going to be 100x equals 5.173. Now from here, I, think you, I hope you kind of get the idea. You see, it repeats after three places. So we're going to have to multiply by 1,000. That's the thousandth place. So is that going to be five zeros? Let's see. 100 times 1,000. That's five zeros. Hmm, who knew? One, two, three, four, five. Beautiful. Equals. And that's the idea. We want to get rid of this thing right here. And when we subtract these two, that decimal, that repeating decimal is going to be zero. All right, so. This one minus this one. Doing a little calculation right here. So this one minus this one. 
99900 times x equals that. So x will be the fraction of this divided by that. All we gotta do is reduce. Turns out four goes into both, but you know. So there we go. So divide both sides by 999,900. 99,900. So divide both sides by 99,900. It reduces by four. And you get that. That right there is the fraction whose decimal approximation is 0 0.1573 and the 173 is repeating. I hope this has been helpful. If it has, you could click like and maybe even subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends. Also, visit my website, thebeardedmathman.com, where you can find a whole bunch of other information on real numbers and some of the math you're asked to do with real numbers and all kinds of other good stuff. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thank you.